Welcome to Excel in a minute. For this video we will talk about the four types of data that you can enter in Excel. We refer to text such as names, months, or other identifiers as labels. They are usually in alphabetic characters. Values are raw numbers or dates while formulas and functions are commands for Excel to perform. Before we begin with entering data, let's get to know important parts of the working area. First, we have your cells. These are the tiny boxes you see on your screen. When you click on a cell, that cell becomes your active cell. For easy reference, the active cell is seen with a dark green border. Take note that your active cell receives the data or command you give it. Next, you have your column heading, the column on top where you see alphabetic characters. We also have the row heading located at the left side with numerical characters. Together, these two composes your cell address. All right, let's start. To enter data on your working area, simply click on a cell, type your data, and then press enter. By default, the cell cursor moves down after you press enter however, you can also use your arrow keys if you want to move to the left, right, up, or down. By default, labels are aligned to the left while values are aligned to the right. You can change these alignments using alignment from the home tab. Entering labels and values are straightforward. Formulas and functions, on the other hand, needs to begin with equals. What you see in a cell that has a function or formula is its return value. If you want to edit the formula or function in that cell, all you have to do is double click on the cell, or you can go to the formula bar and do your editing there. Alignment for formulas will depend on its return value. There you have it. Let us know which type of data you frequently input in Excel. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.